Hello everybody and welcome back to Fearless Friday. Hope you guys have had an amazing week and are ready to move on toward the weekend. Now um, I just wanted to uh, take this quick opportunity before we begin the lesson today. Now it's not going to be too terribly long just to say that first because I know last time we had about uh, 17 and a half minutes of footage um, but today I wanted to keep it a little bit, sh uh, bit shorter to just talk about just something that um, just something that I thought we should talk about um, before I could, before I came on here. Now, uh, before we begin, just want to take this opportunity to quickly pray for everybody that's watching, to me, and allow the Lord to speak through me. So, dear gracious heavenly Father, I thank you for this day, for today is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Now. And God, I just want to thank you for all these people that came on here to watch this today. And I thank you for allowing me to be on here today so that they may listen to what you have to say. Now God, I just ask you to work through me, to speak through me, and to allow the ears of these people to be open so that they may understand what I'm trying to talk about and, and to allow them to just take this in any way that they can throughout their weekend and the week beyond. And God, I just, I just pray that if there's not somebody here that needs it today, I just pray that this gets just out there to somebody that does. And, just, and the people that are on here that may not need it, one day they very well may. And in Jesus' precious holy name we pray. Amen. Now, I wanted to uh, find something today that would kind of talk about um, why, sharing, why sharing the word of the gospel is so is so important you see like I talked la talked about the last time that I was on here the reason I believe a reason why the word was created was not just so that we could understand it but so other people could understand it as well because God, God didn't create the word so that one person that he's called that he's called according to his purpose could come could come to heaven but also so that other people could listen to the word, read the word, so that they may also have that eternal life in heaven. Now, I took this, I went online to search a little bit of an excerpt to try to talk about a little bit what I wanted to discuss today. And I did find this uh, small, this small page up here on uh, ChristianStandardBible.com. Now it's it's completely free. You guys can look at it as well. Just just go. You can uh, go onto Google and find it. But um, it's just simply titled titled God's Word is meant to be shared. Now it's written by the uh, of course it's written by the uh, Christian Study Bible Team. So it may talk in like to a, a uh, first person or third person point of view. Just so that you guys know what I'm. Just so you guys know when we go into this. So, first off, gives us a scripture from Mark chapter 16, verse 15. Then he said to them, Go into all of the world and preach the gospel to all creation. And then it says in Matthew chapter 28, verse 19 through 20, Go, therefore, and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit teaching them to observe everything I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always, to the end of the age. See, sharing the good news of the gospel isn't simply a suggestion. It's a command that Jesus set out for us to be the catalyst for eternal heart, change in our neighbors and throughout the world as we share God's word with others. Romans chapter 10 verse 14 says these words, how then can they call on him they have not believed in? And how can they preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. See, this passage goes on in verse 17. So faith comes from what is heard, and what is heard comes through the message about Christ. We most clearly hear the message about Christ in Scripture, and so we know that discipleship does not occur apart from the word. 
What a charge to be faithful in sharing God's word and the story that he has fulfilled through Jesus, of bringing those far from him into fellowship with him. For all who, ha who have experienced God's saving grace, may God's word bubble out of you like a hot spring. After all, God's word is meant to be shared. I love that God gives a promise that when we obey and share, his spirit will do the rest. We can rest in knowing that God's word will not return empty, but it will accomplish what God pleases. God could have found many conduits to deliver his message, but he chooses to allow us to join him in the work. It is an honor to be able to share the story of God's grace and mercy that has been revealed to us in the Bible. May we love God's word so much that we cannot keep the good news to ourselves. This is one message we can share that never grows stale. Now, I wanted to take back to about two or three things real quick to kind of expand on. And the first thing comes right, comes right back up to the back of the page. And it talks, and it talks about sharing, sharing the good news of the gospel. It says that it's not a suggestion. It's a command that Jesus told his disciples to actually go out and preach the word to all the people of the world. Because I've said this before, God, God is no respecter of persons. I know that I know it, Pastor Eddie knows it, and I sure know that Chris Bishop knows it as well. And can, by the way, continue to pray for him, those of you that are watching. Because I know the Lord's got many, many good things for him planned. But we all know that God is no respecter of persons. See, he wanted to create the word not just so that we could read it and understand it, but so that, but so that everybody else out in the world could read and understand it. See, there, see just kind of to, to talk about that a little bit more, there are times when God would put certain situations in our lives. Like mo most of the time it's a bad situation and un or an unfortunate situation, so to say. Because he wants us to trust and believe in him so that we may see it through. And when we finally do get, get through it, he can use those situations to get us through other situations. It's like, remember that time when I got you through that through that situation and now here you are in another situation but you know I can get you through it because I've done it before it's it's that sort of thing but uh, but uh, and that's kind of something that I think that we can share to other people because if God can do it for us he can do it for them as well now another thing that I wanted to talk about is is just right, right here, where it comes down to um, the uh, the charge to be faithful in sharing God's word and the story that He has fulfilled through Jesus of bringing those far from Him into fellowship into fellowship with Him. See, it's amazing what Jesus can do. It's ama it's amazing to know that it's amazing to know that Jesus chose to share to share the word with us. Because he knows that there are people out here that, that he can use to bring the good news to other people. Because there are people out there that have, and it goes back to what I was talking about before, there are people out there that have experienced God's grace and they'd be so happy because they got through that situation, not because of them, but because of the God that is in them. Their faith in God got them through that situation, and um, and uh, because and that kind of ties in what I was talking about first is that it's all connected basically because whenever we f because whenever we feel joy, God knows that there's a there's a sensation inside of us that desires other people to to feel that joy as well as it also talks down here 
May we love God's word so much that we cannot keep the good news to ourselves. Because I believe I believe that if we keep the good news to ourselves, it's kind of it's kind of selfish in my personal opinion. Not I'm not trying to offend anybody, but I but the word is meant to be shared. And we and may we love the word so incredibly much that we want other people to know about it as well. Because as it says right here in Isaiah chapter 40 verse 8, the grass withers, the flowers fade, but the word of our God remains forever. Now, I think we would call that the, the I think we would call that the third the third part to actually talk about right there. I know I've been all over the place for the past uh, for the past three minutes or so, but um, and that's that. But that's another thing about sharing the word is because if we share the word, it will never go away. It's never going to leave. It's it's not going to be one thing at one minute and then it's going to be gone the next because. There are many, many people out there that know what God has done for them. And they know that if He can do it for them, He can do it for others as well. See, that's the kind of thing that God wants to use us for. So that we may keep His Word alive, so that we may spread it to other people, so that they may wish to keep it alive as well. Because God's Word is eternal. It will never go away. I can personally guarantee you, that if God can do it for us, He can do it for you as well. Because His word will His word will never die. And if and if we know that, we'll be able to share it for, with other people. Because God's no respecter of person. So, dear gracious heavenly Father, I thank you for this day that you've given us today. And I thank you for allowing me to be on here to just preach this word today to these people that are watching. Now, God, I just I just pray that there are people out here that, under, that understand a little bit of what I was talking about today, God. And I pray that if there's somebody out there that needs it today, I just pray that um, I just pray that you allow it to get to them. And I just pray that you just just take them to realize exactly what the word of the word of the gospel is for the word is meant to be shared so that we may all be able to go up in eternity to live with you in life beyond and in jesus precious holy name we pray amen god bless you guys hope you have an amazing weekend and i pray to see you soon god bless